After understanding the SVM code structure and the HLS code for get underscore Q function, this lecture implements the entire code in Vitus and compiles that for Zybos at 720. If you are familiar with C++ language and curious about function acceleration and Zinc 7000 and Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC using Whitus and do not know where to start, you can refer to my online course. For that purpose, click on the link below this video. Run the white software. Choose a proper workspace. Here, I have chosen the workspace where we develop the libsvm software implementation. Create a new project considering the Zybo Z720 platform. Select the empty application under the software acceleration templates on the templates page. Copy the svm.cpp, svm.h and svm-train.c from the software project into the host project in the newly created project. Create a source file for the Vitus kernel function under the kernel project and copy the SPMV kernel developed in the previous section. Now we should modify the host code to call the Vitus hardware kernel. Open the svm.h file and include the OpenCL header files and the OCL underscore check macro. Then open svm underscore train dot c file. This file contains the c main and the read data and the parse command line functions. To measure the execution time, and the corresponding function and variables, as explained throughout this course. Now we should define a few variables to hold data information and OpenCL objects. We should get the kernel binary file as a program input parameter. For this purpose, first the xclbin file name variables should be defined and passed to the parse command line function. Then we should go to the function and copy the first parameter into Excel bin file name. And I start the rest of the parameters and options from the second index. We should modify the read problem function to fill some of the variables we need in our hardware code. For example, we should get the row size, call size, and NNZ values. As we are using 
OpenCL C++ APIs, we should change the extension of the svm-train.c file to cpp. The prop.l and elements determine the number of rows and non-zero elements respectively. We also can determine the index of each row and save that in the row PTR vector. The max index variable determines the number of columns in the input data. Now let's modify the svm.cpp file. First, we should add global variables defined in the svm-train.cpp file. These variables should be defined as external. The x underscore hardware variable keeps track of the training dataset. Recall from the previous lecture that the SVM train algorithm changes the order of vectors in the input data. So x underscore hardware will point to the latest modified input data. We save the latest data address in x underscore hardware in the kernel member function. Now we should modify the get underscore q function as explained in the previous lecture. For this purpose, we replace the for loop with the q underscore hardware function. Now let's write the function. First, we reset the ptrx elements to zero, then traverse through x underscore hardware and fill the ptr row indices, ptr call indices, and ptr values. Then we copy the data into the ptrx vector. After that, we should set the kernel arguments and run the kernel. Finally, we should calculate the data vector using the output generated by the kernel. Now we can build the host program to find possible errors. We have two errors. We have forgotten to modify the function prototypes. Now we should add OpenCL APIs in the host code.
We should also measure the train function execution time. For this purpose, we wrap the svm underscore train function with our get timestamp function. We also need to add these two header files. Now we should create the data folder in the host project and copy the input data file here. After that, we are ready for building the project. But before that, we should introduce the kernel top function as the hardware module in the kernel project. Now let's compile the project. Before running the compiled program, we should provide its arguments. Right click on the top project and select run as run configuration. Click on the edit icon next to the program arguments and type binary underscore container underscore one dot clbin minus t zero dot slash data slash a1a dot slash data slash a1a dot model. Now we can run the program under the software emulator. If you are familiar with C++ language and curious about function acceleration and Zinc 7000 and Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC using Whitehouse and do not know where to start, you can refer to my online course. For that purpose, click on the link below this video.